Hi everyone, welcome to Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula and I live a keto low carb lifestyle. I have been eating a ketogenic diet for almost 11 months. In November it will be one year and we are almost into October now. I have experienced many health benefits since I have been eating this way. I do a lot of keto low carb recipes on this channel and I share what I eat in a day videos. I like sharing with others my experiences things that have happened to me my journey since I have been on this way of eating. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical professional. I am just an average person that decided to try eating keto to see if it would help me with some of my health issues, and it has in a tremendous way. And I am here today to share those experiences with you. And I'm not saying that if you eat this way and you do everything that I do, that you're going to experience those same benefits. I don't know. I just know that they've worked for me and I'm going to share them with you. Um, the first thing that has happened to me since I have been on this ketogenic lifestyle, I call it a lifestyle now, not a diet, because it is my lifestyle. I have to live this lifestyle in order to stay healthy. And so it's no longer a diet. I like to call it lifestyle. So the first obvious thing that has happened to me is weight loss. I have lost 30 pounds over the past 11 months. There were times when I plateaued and stalled, but I never gained weight back. I always either stayed at the same weight or I lost weight. And so my weight has continued to go down. I have a few more pounds that I would like to lose, but my main focus is not the weight loss. My main focus, the reason why I do this, is because of the way this diet makes me feel. And I'm gonna go on into that in just a little bit. My husband has also been doing keto with me and he is down an incredible 60 pounds in the past 11 months. So the obvious thing for both of us is the weight loss. I've gone down two sizes. I used to be in a size 1X, which was plus size. It's a size above an extra large, and that was getting a little snug on me, some of the things that I had. So I actually was going probably into a 2X, and so I am down now into a large, which is amazing to me because I thought I would just get down to an extra large and I would be happy with that. So I have worked my way down into a size large. It's fun losing weight and going shopping for smaller clothing items. That's all well and fun. But the next few things that I'm going to share with you are some of the most important reasons why I continue to do this lifestyle. They are the reasons why I started this channel because I'm still to this day amazed at the way a meat-based diet has healed my body. I feel incredible. My second thing here is migraines. I used to have these really debilitating migraines. I used to worry about special events coming up and different things that we had planned just hoping and praying that I wouldn't wake up with a migraine because they were debilitating and I was basically non-functional when I had a migraine. I had nausea with my migraines. I had vomiting with my migraines. I had to sit in complete darkness. I couldn't lay down. If I laid down, my head just throbbed more. I couldn't take medicine. I, took, I couldn't take ibuprofen. I couldn't take anything that anybody recommended to me to take for migraines because I would vomit it up. If I took a sip of water, I would vomit that water up. It's how bad these migraines were. I'll show you a picture right here of a migraine cap that I used to wear. I have six of these migraine caps. I have three here at this house and I have three at my other house. They were the only thing that I could use that would bring me any kind of relief. And still to this day, I keep them in the freezer. I'm afraid to not have them in the freezer. That's how afraid I am of waking up to have a migraine. A few times when I've thought, I should just take these out of the freezer now and put them in my closet, but I'm afraid not to have them frozen because you keep them in the freezer and you put them on and my migraines would last for hours. As soon as I started having a migraine, I would put one on, keep it down over my eyes and keep the other two in the freezer. As soon as it thawed out, I would get another one out and put it on. And that's why I always had three at each house because I had them for backup. They work great. I recommend them 
them for anybody that has migraines. It's sort of like a cold compression. It freezes and numbs the areas. It also has that compression that some people find relief in. I will be glad to put the link down below if you're experiencing migraines and you want to try these out. But I have not used them in 11 months. I have not had a migraine in 11 months. And that is huge to me. If that was the only thing that I experienced doing a keto diet, I think that I would stay on a keto diet. Stopping my migraines is the number two thing that I have experienced on this ketogenic lifestyle. The third thing that has stopped since I've been doing this ketogenic diet is joint pain in a lot of joints in my body. I was having joint pain. I had a lot of inflammation. I was going to a foot doctor. I will show a picture right here. You can see on my foot, I have a leather brace. I had that brace especially made for me. It was very expensive and I had to wear that brace 24 hours a day. I had to wear it inside of my shoe. I had to wear special made orthotics inside of my shoes because I was having foot pain. I was having ankle pain. And so the foot doctor had this brace made for me. And during that time also, I had surgery on my wrist. I'll show you a picture right here of right after I came home from surgery, I had Dequare veins surgery where um, I couldn't touch my thumb to the palm of my hand without extreme pain in my wrist. And they, so they went in and did a surgery and now that really helped to release that tendon so that I can touch the palm of my hand with my thumb. I was on pain relievers. I was on steroids from time to time. I was on hydroxychloroquine. Now I'm no longer on any medication. I went to physical therapy. I went to physical therapy for my shoulder. I went for my ankle. I went for the arch of my foot. I went for my wrist. I was in and out of physical therapy appointments and doctor appointments. I had to wear braces on my hands when I went to sleep for carpal tunnel. I had all of these things going on. As soon as I started this way of eating, after about, I would, I would say about two months of being on this way of eating, I noticed that I didn't have any joint pain. It's still crazy to me. Like, cannot believe after going through that time period of doing all of those things for all of the joints of my body. Like, I would sit at night in my recliner and I would have ice or heat on something. I still cannot believe that my choices in food has taken away my migraines and my joint pain. It is still amazing to me. And so that is the number three thing is the joint pain that has gone away. Okay. The fourth thing is increased energy and just overall mental clarity. I, I have mental clarity. I am sharp and I have lots of energy. I have four grandsons. There's a picture right here that I will put of me and three of my grandsons. The other one is only three months old now, but I have the energy now to get down on the floor and play with my grandkids. There were times when I had the ankle pain and the foot pain that I had to tell my oldest grandson, I can't play that game with you because I can't jump or I can't run. I just can't do that because of my ankle. And I don't have to do that anymore. I can chase them around. I can play. I can get down on the floor. They don't want to leave my house when they come over because we have so much fun. Getting down the floor, running around and chasing my grandsons is amazing to me as well. Just to be able to have the energy to be able to do that. Now I am not saying that when they leave here, I am not exhausted because I'm still exhausted when they leave here after I played with them for a few hours. But I think that that is completely normal at my age. And the fifth thing is one of the hardest things for me to talk about, and that is my hormones. I am 52 years old and I am experiencing hormonal change in my body. And it is completely normal to experience that in your 50s. I, I can tell you that I have experienced a lot of improvement in my hormones. I'm still having hormonal changes. There's still things that are going on within my body, but my symptoms have improved a lot. Some of these are a little embarrassing for me to talk about, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about these because I am here to share my experiences, share my journey so that I can help other people out. That is what I feel called to do and that is what I'm going to do. So the first thing is hot flashes. I had horrible hot flashes. Here's a picture of me wearing my little fan thing around my neck. 
that I wear sometimes when I do have bad hot flashes. I'm still, I still have hot flashes and I still like to go around in just a t-shirt when everybody else is wearing their jackets, but they are not as often and they are not as intense. I have noticed a huge improvement in my hot flashes since I've started this way of eating. And the second thing, this is a little embarrassing you guys, is facial hair. I just noticed this a couple of months ago. It just occurred to me. I used to get these little black coarse hairs that would just pop out on my chin like within a day, it wouldn't be there the day before. And all of a sudden, this little coarse pokey hair would be just out. And I'm like, where did that come from? A couple of months ago, it just dawned on me that I have not been tweezing little chin hairs out of my chin. I haven't done that in months. So I Googled it like I do everything else. It is a common thing to be corrected when you are on a keto diet. Another embarrassing thing is skin tags. I was starting to get skin tags and they were all like under my arm areas. And I had to have one of them removed because the elastic on my bra band was rubbing it and it was causing it to bleed and be irritated. And so I had that one removed by my dermatologist. And I have noticed, I haven't done anything. I haven't put anything on them. They are gone. I don't have any skin tags under my arms anymore. I'm not a doctor. I can't explain it. I can just tell you that I haven't done anything to the skin tags under my arms and they are gone. So I don't know anything about that, why you get them, why they go away. I just know that they are gone. I am attributing it to this way of eating because it has happened since I have been eating keto. I also noticed in the hormone category that my skin is much clearer. I used to get these little pimples that would just pop up out of nowhere and I'm in my 50s. Like where are these pimples coming from? And I have not been having that problem anymore. It's just not an issue. I do use Beauty Counter products, a great non-toxic chemical-free skincare line. I can link my Beauty Counter link down below if you're interested in that. But I really truly feel that healthy skin comes from the inside first. I feel like my diet has a lot to do with the acne as well. Overall, my mood has been great. During perimenopause, you can experience mood swings and you can experience, you know, a lot of different things with your emotions. I feel great. My mood is very positive. Last thing that I have on my hormone list is something that I'm going to be very brief on because it's just something that I don't enjoy talking about with others. And that is the romance department. And as a couple in our 50s, all I have to say for both of us, things for us in that department are really great. And that's all I'm going to say. I would recommend that if you are having problems, whether you're a man or a woman in the romance department, I would recommend before you get on any kind of medications or have anything done, I would recommend trying a clean keto diet. And I'm talking clean one ingredient foods get rid of the sugar, get rid of processed foods, keep your carbs really low, and give it a try if you're having problems in that department and see if it doesn't work for you. The last thing I wanna talk about, number six, is my doctor's report. My lab work, my cholesterol, my blood pressure, all of my labs, my doctor said they're optimal. That was her words, they were optimal. Remember I said, I am not on any medications. I don't take high blood pressure medication. I don't take cholesterol medication. I don't take any medications for any of those things. My labs are, as my doctor said, optimal. So those are the six things that I wanted to share that keto has done to my body in the past 11 months. I feel fantastic and just not having those first few things that I talked about, the migraines, the joint pain, having energy, having mental clarity, feeling great hormonally, it's all 100% worth it. I've had people say to me, but look at the things that you can't eat. But my way of thinking, ever since I started this from the beginning is, but look at the things that I can eat. There is a lot 
of nutrient dense foods out there that you can eat. I used to do low fat diet. I used to do a vegetarian diet. I wouldn't even touch bacon or red meat because I thought that it was going to make me unhealthy, but it's the opposite. Red meat, bacon, high fat foods has healed my body. I am forever thankful to the one that I give credit to, and that is God. I really feel that God put me on this path and he showed me this way of eating. He has used the food that really comes from him to heal my body. And now I feel called to share it with all of you. So that is it for today's video. That's all I have. I just wanted to share these things that have changed in my body since I have been on the ketogenic lifestyle. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. Give this video a thumbs up because it helps my channel out. Thanks for watching and God bless.